I want to talk to you a little bit about the Raiders for a second, but not to preview the football game this weekend. It's a crazy story. I think it's kind of kind of odd, considering that we're in a global pandemic, that several teammates uh, showed up Monday night at a gala in Henderson to help raise money for Darren Waller's foundation. The only problem, they weren't wearing masks, there was no oversight, and it could land them in hot water with the NFL. So the event host was the Dragon Ridge Country Club. Now, if you recall, this country club has been fined already $2,000 by the city of Henderson for four violations of the state's COVID-19 emergency directives. Now, the players are currently waiting to learn their fate for potential violations. This event drew a crowd of more than 100 people, and according to an attendee, twice the state limit that was in effect on Monday of no more than 50 people in indoor gatherings. Videos from the gala show several maskless Raiders, including quarterback Derek Carr and tight end Jason Witten, interacting with attendees. Now, the Raiders did not officially organize or host the event, but they did lend some assistance, according to owner Mark Davis, who donated money for the cause, but was not in attendance. Davis said the Raiders are looking into the situation internally. Here's what Davis said. We obviously take responsibility for this. You don't like seeing this. I don't know that it's actually been built into our memories that you have to wear a mask. Our organization takes it very seriously. Uh, The Las Vegas event, uh, as I mentioned before, was in support of the Waller Foundation, and the Raiders should be commended for that. They were trying to do a good thing. I don't think the Raiders were intentionally trying to do something wrong or cause havoc or spread the coronavirus. Uh, They were trying to do a good thing, and that was support the Waller Foundation, which helps young adults addicted to drugs and alcohol. But this is a big mistake. During a global pandemic, to not be practicing social distancing, to be interacting with fans like that is absurd. So let's now hear from Derek Carr. Here's what Derek Carr had to say uh, in reaction to this non-wearing mask story with the Raiders and Henderson. Have a listen to this. At the end of the day, we were there. I mean, shoot, guys. I have to have, you know, dinners and dates with my wife at my house. You know, I haven't taken her out to eat all season, you know. Uh, and that's a lot of kids running around my house. I think she's ready for a date. And so... We've been we've been doing our, our very best, and we had a few moments where we we slipped up, took the mask off, uh, so people could see our face and things like that. Um, we signed waivers, hand sanitizer like crazy, all this kind of stuff. We tried our best even at the event uh, with everything, and we weren't perfect, but we we were trying our best. We were, we weren't trying to be careless or reckless. Okay, so here's my problem with Derek Carr's comments. I've watched some of these videos. These were not a few moments. Derek Carr is not necessarily being honest. I'm not trying to trash anybody here, particularly our own team, the Raiders, which I love. And I love Derek Carr. I think he's a great dude. I really do. I think he's a good dude. How long were the videos that you watched, Brian? Uh, some of the videos that I watched were for a few minutes, but that's not a moment. It's not taking your mask off for five well, seconds. Well, if you're there for three hours and your mask is off for 20 okay. minutes, then that's what. So, so it's not a moment, like I said. And uh, all the videos that I saw and witnesses were saying, yeah, for a good portion of the event, The masks were off, especially when they were interacting with fans. So as you know, John Gruden, week one of the NFL, was not doing a great job with wearing his mask, and he commented on that. And now John Gruden is commenting on this event. Hear what he had to say. Let me say this. We've done a good job. We've done an excellent job. Last night, uh, it was addressed uh, with our players. They walked in with their masks on. There was an event. Sometimes you go to a restaurant, take your mask off. Uh, They're aware of their mistake. But we've done an excellent job uh, using our masks and taking proper care of each other and everybody. I'm really proud of our players. All right, so of course he's going to say that. And uh, this video, by the way, of this event, we're going to put it up on our social media page right now, which is at the Vegas Take. I guess here's my question to the listeners out there. Do you think it's fair to criticize the Raiders for not wearing masks uh, at times during this event? You can say you're doing a great job. You can say the organization is doing a great job all you want to high heaven. But the bottom line is we have a public event where players at times were not practicing social distancing. Here's the issue. Not just you're putting the fans at risk, and if one fan had the virus there, then God knows how many people could have contracted it. But here's even another issue. What if somebody out there gave one of the players the virus? We don't know that. If one of the players gets the virus... Then other players could get the virus. Then the Raiders are in deep doo-doo. Now, I hope that doesn't happen. I really do. Am I saying there's a great chance that could happen? No. But it could be a possibility. And if you're wearing masks and you're practicing social distancing, there's certainly a better chance that you're not going to contract something. So my question to the listeners is this. Is this a serious problem? 
Do you think the Raiders should be fined for that? If you're the NFL, what would you do? The NFL is now investigating. They're looking into it because the NFL also has guidelines. For example, if you're going to do these types of events, you have to practice social distancing and you have to be careful and you have to abide by regulation. Six. Do you think it's fair to be critical of the Raiders organization for doing this event Monday in Henderson for not wearing masks? Look, I talk about this stuff all the time on the show. I've been doing it for months. It gets exhausting. And I'm not talking about the Raiders now. I'm talking about the anti-maskers out there, the people out there that think we shouldn't wear a mask. The people out there that think there's no virus, the thousands and thousands of people out there that are going to campaign rallies or protests, I don't care what you're doing. If you're not practicing social distancing, it's wrong. That's exactly right. We want everything to get back to normal. We want the economy and everybody to be normal again, but we're not going to get there until this virus is gone. And when you're out there not wearing masks and you're out there doing these types of events, it puts yourself and myself at risk. And the Raiders need to be careful. Did did you see what was announced last week on Fox? The virus that was, well, there's a new strain of the virus, and that was kind of the second wave of cases in Texas, is actually impervious to mask wearing and hand washing. No, I did not see that well, you story. Look into that, I, uh, okay, where was it from? Fox. Fox News. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I haven't heard pretty, anyone pretty else. Pretty credible source. Okay. Well, I haven't should, heard anybody talk about You should take some time and look into that. I, well, people, Brian, people are over this virus. People the, are over yes, this. Yes, virus. the country is over this virus. The country Espe- is not over the virus. I don't know what you're talking about. Especially, there up, especially, uptick. especially with the new CDC, you know, statements. There are almost the, the, a thousand more, people the, dying a day. What are you talking the mortality, about? The mortality rate. Yeah, people, Brian, 8,000 people die every single day and have in the oh United States God. for the last 10 years. Are you really going to go down no, that road? Ex- oh no, no. Look, look at look at excess mortality in, in relation, oh in, in comparison to other countries. Okay. What, what excess mortality is, is the expectations of death okay. among, among you know, un, under, a, under a right. non-virus circumstances, so I, know, Brian. I know, I know that you want to continue to undermine this. I'm not virus undermining anything. Since day one. I'm not. But I'm not my, undermining okay, anything, so Brian. Here, I wear a on. mask myself. Right, let me respond to what I don't you just always said. wear a mask let myself, respond, but I'm always wearing okay, I wear a mask. Re- but people first, are over okay, the virus. They just respond, are, Brian. Let me respond. People are tired the of being locked thing. down. Their business being shut okay. down. Not being able to go to the to, to restaurants or the movie theater or on dates with their with with their wife. They're tired of having to sit at home with their kids while their kids are in school instead of going to their job. They're just tired of it. So first of all, and so this is a prime. Example Let me know when I can respond. Okay, so first of all, you're not special. The people out mm-hmm. there that say that they're over this virus and they're frustrated, guess what? Newsflash. We've all been frustrated with this virus. We all want it to end. We're all uncomfortable. That doesn't mean that we just shouldn't practice social distancing. That's what I'm talking about here. Just because you're frustrated doesn't mean that the answer is, oh, let's just forget that there's a global pandemic and there's almost a 1,000 people dying every day of this virus. We're talking about the Raiders. We're also talking about people that do other irresponsible things. Yes, I do believe the Raiders were irresponsible. Yes, I do think thousands of people showing up at a Trump rally not practicing social distancing is very what about, what about uh, If I could please finish my statement. What about a Biden rally? If I could, if I could there was, there was actually a few my, thousand yesterday at a Biden rally statement. in Pennsylvania. If I, can, if I can please finish my statement, I was getting to that, okay. and I've said this a million times, if you could please not interrupt me. I don't care what protest you're doing. I don't care what rally you're doing. But what I could tell you is the Biden uh, campaign rallies that I've seen, the majority of those people are practicing social distancing. The, what we what we saw in Henderson with Donald Trump was a disgrace. What we saw last night in Minnesota with Donald Trump was a disgrace. What are we seeing? We're seeing thousands of people. You're not talking about me, the same thing I'm happened with Joe Biden yesterday in Pennsylvania, Brian. That is absolutely factually that inaccurate. Is absolutely that accurate. is absolutely accurate. There's pictures of okay. it. There's pictures okay. of Joe Biden. So if you and, and to, a massive crowd of probably a okay. thousand, maybe two thousand okay. people, first of standing, all, first standing of all, right next to each other in a line, okay. and Joe Biden is okay. in front of them. So I find it very interesting that Donald There's Trump. There's actually video as well. I, I'll start over. I find it very interesting that Donald Trump has held a ton of campaign rallies, and you don't seem to have a problem with that at all. I have no problem. But pro- I don't have a problem with what Biden did. Right. I'm just saying right. Biden is doing which, the exact same a, thing, which is absurd. All that's right. all. That's so, all I'm saying. So it's okay. And by the way, where, where, where has that where is that it's uptick absurd. where is that uptick in cases in Nevada taking place? Is that, it hasn't happened. I didn't say there was an uptick in Nevada. There's, there's I have no been, idea. I mean, you don't listen a, to me. I didn't say well, there was. You an said uptick there was an uptick in virus nationwide. In certain in certain states nationwide, there is There's going to be an uptick no matter what, Brian. But I thought you were over it. I thought everybody was over it. But in Nevada, there has not been an uptick since Trump had those. 
those two big events. He, and actually, Donald Trump okay. Jr. and his, so and his girlfriend, Kim, Kimberly Guilfoyle, the, Guilfoyle, are having an event in Sparks, Nevada, as we speak, like literally right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so you're telling me because there isn't an uptick in Nevada because of a couple can pound rallies, you have no problem with five or 10,000 people showing up not practicing social distancing. Okay, that makes complete sense.